Welcome back to the Treasure of Nadia with another part of the story to get through. As always, there's a link down in the description to NLT Media's Discord, and there's going to be a written guide for the game, so if you don't want to wait for all these videos to come out, you can go there and read Greg's wonderful written guide instead. Now, without further ado, please hit like, please consider hitting subscribe. We're going to pick it up at the bar where we left off last time, and this time we're going to head back into the park. Heading into the park, we're going to head to the left-hand side. And we're then going to head to the left-hand side once again. Joey and Corn are going to get rid of the Scorpions for us. And Claire is going to lead the way. So we're then going to be able to follow them up once again. Where they are not going to be here. We're going to have to work out where they have gone. But there is a few things in this area for us to pick up. First, there's going to be a floppy fish over here doing that. That is going to give us some new lures in the bait shop. We have a new plant for us to pick up. That is a fillweed plant. We then have a sparkle to pick up as well. That's going to give me a jade talisman. As well as another sparkle underneath this tree just here. That is going to be Naomi's profile. We are then going to go over to this ruin just over here. I'm going to give it a good little shove. Doing so, it's going to release nine roaches. We need to quickly catch those. So just run around the map until you have caught all of those. Once you've done that, we're then going to try and find another one of these ginseng plants. Ginseng plants? Ginseng plants? I don't know what they're called. But we're going to pick up another one of those. And we're going to then going to head to the Squall Mart to speak to Emily. Once we're at the shop, we're going to give her the ginseng plant. As well as the fillweed. With that, we're going to receive another heart for Emily. And then we're going to need to buy a couple of things in the shop while they're here. I don't quite have enough money, so I'm going to quickly whip to Diana to sell some stuff. And by popping to Diana, I have triggered a part of the story that I forgot about. But here we are. There are some rats in Diana's library. And we're going to have to try and catch them later on. Or get somebody to help us catch them. We'll worry about that in a little bit. And first, we're just going nice to go to Diana and sell some stuff to make sure that we have a good chunk of chains. I had a silver talent for normally, so that's why I got all of that money. We're going to head back to the Squall Mart very quickly. And we're going to buy the shovel alloy shovel head over here as well as this metal hook over here we should then be heading to the library to speak to Diana to discover about her rat problem but we already know that because we've already just been there so instead we're going to head to the lighthouse which is next on that story quest and at the lighthouse there is going to be a jar for us to break open that is going to give us a jade talisman we can then go inside and speak to Albert. While we're here inside the lighthouse, we might as well break up open this jar as well. That will give us another jade talisman. We will then head back to the library where Albert should be as well now. And with the box set down, we just need some baits. We're going to put all of the roaches inside the box. And that did not go very well, so we're just going to leave that and leave Albert to clean that up himself. While Albert is cleaning that up, we're going to join Diana at the beach. Before we go and speak to Diana, we're going to go down here. And we're going to do a little bit of digging in the sound. That's going to find us a chest key. We can then go speak to Diana to continue the story. We then need to head back to the library to see if, how Albert is getting on. And that will give us another heart with Diana. While I'm here, I'm just going to spot there's a little plant down in the corner for me to pick up. While I'm going to do it and while I see it, I'm always going to pick it up. It's always good to have in your inventory for another time. I'm then going to head back to the Squall Mart and speak to Ash. Follow Ash to the lighthouse and then head upstairs where you're in the lighthouse. And then speak to Ash hey once again. You then have to pay Ash something for the photo. <laughs> and after receiving the photo of Naomi, we're going to head back to Estro Key to see what Naomi's up to. From there, we're going to head to the Squall Mart once again. And inside, we should find Emily and Naomi. Once inside, we're going to go over to this and we're going to buy the Aniseed tablet. We can then leave the shop and head to the parlor and then head around back of the parlor. And you'll find a new patch of growing soil. My and with that, you're going to give her the Gensin Gisin plant. That's going to be 250 bucks for you as well as a massage if you choose. We then need to go onto the garden and plant the Gisin plant. After that, we're going to then head to the front. There's going to be a jar for us to break open with the pipe wrench. That is going to give us a J talisman. And we're then going to head inside the parlor for the free massage. You will then receive an awareness boost. You'll receive a continuous awareness boost until you find a golden talisman. You will also receive Parissa as a new contact, as well as a new heart with Parissa as well. After the parlor, we're going to head to the library once again, where you're going to find Janet and Albert. After the chat at the library, we're going to head to Janet's home. We're going to head around back 
where you should find Kaylee on the back deck. We're then going to go inside. After the little scene, we're going to go over to Diary and Janet to have a little chat to those. We're then going to head inside and then head to the fridge. What do we have here? Where we're going to pick up some iced tea. We are then going to nip upstairs and into Janet's bedroom. In Janet's bedroom, in the drawer, is going to be some alcohol. We can then head back outside and give Janet and Naomi the drinks. After the scene, we're then going to head back outside in the backyard. After that, I'm going to pick up another what plant that I found here? spawned over here. It's always good to have an inventory once again. And we are then going to go over to the lighthouse. We're going to head inside and head down the stairs. Downstairs is going to be Albert. What's some boots for us to pick up. It's going to be Davis boots. Then we're going to have a craft recipe for a swift shovel. We're going to note that for later, as well as a chest to open up with a chest key that we received earlier for another Karma Sutra page. That is going to be our second Karma Sutra page with Alia. We are then going to go running back over to Janet's home. We're going to head back inside and head upstairs, then into Kaylee's room. That is going to give us another heart with Kaylee for our second heart. And then once again, we're going to have to go rushing back to the lighthouse. This is why I have fast movement on. And we're going to have to nip back downstairs, go speak to Albert. Albert will show us a chest and we'll have to punch it in a code. The code is going to be six. Six, eight, four. Opening the chest will give us a rare guide book that's going to make it easier to find more expensive treasures in the forest. We can then nip into the squall mark. We're going to see Ash and Emily having a little bit of a fight. That will receive another photo of Emily. And we can then head inside and we have some glue for us to purchase over here. And then it's time to do some more crafting. We're going to head back to Astro Park and head all the way into the cave. On the way into the cave is going to be another one of these for us to smash open. Opening up that jar will give us a basic container. We can then go over to the crafting spot and we're going to craft up some better shoes. So we're going to need shoe glue, damaged boots, leather gloves and shoe laces. That is going to give us some stomping boots. Stomping boots are going to be for the stings and the bites for the venomous creatures. So we're going to be able to stomp all over them and get them out of the way. So with our newfound stomping boots, we're going to head to the bar and we're going to head upstairs. And upstairs there's going to be some bugs for us to jump on. Jumping on all of those will make it nice and clear for us. And we'll be able to pick up a carbon shovel or shaft. As well as a chest key. We can then go zipping back to the park and we're going to head to the left for one and then up once again. We're then going to have some scorpions in our way. We can squish all of these in this area, freeing up all of the pathways. Just going to get these out of the way on the left hand side as well, just because I can. And the ones in the north. And we're going to head over to the right hand side over here. And we're going to have a goose that is going absolutely crazy. We're going to go over to that goose and we're going to give it the uh, aniseed tablet. That is going to make the goose explode. But it is now out of our way so we don't what care. We have, we have a little thing over here. That is going to give me my first gold talisman. And we also have a gold talisman crafting. You may have spotted in the shop there is now some gold ore for you to purchase. As well as a chest for us to open up for another Karma Sutra page. That is going to give us our first Karma Sutra page for Parissa. We can then head back to the crossroads. And we have another path free to the north. So we're going to head up there. And after the scene with the goons and Claire, we'll be free to roam around the area. We have a floppy fish to have to pick up to get some more baits. There's the new lures in the bait shop. We have a craft recipe over here for a pickaxe, a sparkle, I don't know if that's meant to be there, as well as the ultra shovel handle. After the time of the park, we're going to exit the park and we're going to head to the squall mark. We're then going to go open to the door and find out it is locked, so we need to go find where Emily is. Emily is at the library, so we're going to go over to the library. We're first going to speak to Diana and then Hello. talk to her. And we can then go over to Emily over on the left hand hey side and speak to her. You should then have four sparkles over on the right hand side. We're to pick all of those up once you have picked up all of the books we're going to go back to emily and we're going to give her the book titled perils of cape vedra which is going to be this one just here emily is then going to go to the park and we're going to follow emily to the park over the scene of the park you'll find yourself in the doctor's office in this spare room where it's going to be a basic container for you to pick up as well as a heavy cord. Now open your inventory and go to the heavy cord. It will then reopen your inventory and you can click on metal hook and you will then have a grappling hook. We can then head back to Estro Park 
and we can go over to this grap uh, this gaffer tape, use a grappling hook, climb up and collect that. We can then head over to the right hand side of the park and enter into the cave. In the main room of the crafting, you will find this up here. Once again, click on that, use your grappling hook and go pick up that. That will give you a wrench grip. We can then go over to the red geezy, which you tried to pick up earlier, and we can select that. It might be a little bit tricky for you to do, but I need you to click around the bottom of the area, not the top one, or it will take you through to the next area. Use your grappling hook, climb up there, and that will give you your red geezy. We can then head back to the squall mark and speak to Emily. You can then give her the red geezy. And after that scene, this is where we're going to end it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. As always, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.